All right, my good friends, here we're back with another YouTuber with the collections videos. And this one is Hokiose Vermeer of the Vermeer Collection by Scan24. And this is number six. This is a 16 by 20 stapled canvas. Let's just get in there a little bit. Let me show you guys. I've showed you guys this one before. This one's very popular. And again, it's by Hokiose, and that's his last name. And he has paintings that depict an ancient um, tidal wave that came tsunami and just devastated Japan, you know, and this awful stuff that happened to them back in the day. You know, even now, pray for them because, you know, in Time is not linear, it's all fucking equative. All that good stuff. I'm sorry for all you people who don't cuss around, but it's just awful what happened. I mean, I look at that wave every time and I think, oh my dear lord, what's going on, you know? And again, my name is Shannon Comes at Night. I'm here to help you guys <laughs> understand my drawings here. I mean, my paintings. And I'm a first time artist, but I've painted about 70 of these, a little bit more over 70 paintings, over more than 200 drawings and stuff since June 2023. It just kind of went off, just boom, entered my brain. This is number six to this one. Not bad, huh? Kind of looks like a dragon. I wanted to make it part of the dragon series because of the dragon here, but I did not. All right, number six. Leftover junkie in the background. And this one is called Jerry Colt Vermeer of the Vermeer Collection, stapled canvas acrylic number five. And this is after another artist and I can't even remember the first name uh, but Jerry Colt paints all painted all kinds of water paintings some of them very scary which is you know something that I took from them so that's what I'm doing and this one is basically this creature talking to this smaller creature who's pointing over here saying look at this thing right over here and what he's pointing at is this eyeball a set of eyeballs see this happy face to me it's like how can that be you know how did that come this one's like telling them something we got smiley faces everywhere because art makes you happy right so that's number five very nice Leftover junkie in the background. And this one is Mallard, Mallord Vermeer, number four of the Vermeer collection. This one's just acrylic on canvas on a board. It's not stapled, board, anything like that. But this one, you want to get a little bit closer. Because we've got some creatures here as a three headed. On the top, I'm looking at the top in the purple. And then there's that dude. This guy's got all kinds of eyes, but definitely smiling. That guy smiling right there. Always have a smile. And then we go down here. Remember, this is all water-based for the inspiration. It's not water-based paint, it's acrylic. And look at this guy, he's even got a tennis shoe, looks like to me. We got some movement here a little bit. And I know that's what you guys like with art. And we got this thing going on. Bunch of eyes. Kind of looks like some balloons, but nonetheless, those are eyes. <laughs> and see how it kind of connects right there to the next level? It doesn't do that on this level because that guy's big head got in the way and then his eyes slid down. And this guy's like, ah. And so, yeah. And then I forgot to put teeth on that guy. I might go back and fix him later. I don't know. But see, these guys are some kind of creature I call the Theans. And see right there? See how those eyeballs are just kind of floating off there? They all got sharp teeth. And they all like to laugh at each other. At least that's my point of view. 
Ma Lord. After Ma Lord, dude. I can't even remember. That's his middle name. I just used his middle name because I couldn't use his first name. Casper Ma Lord. Uh, something. I didn't want to use Casper. I want to do Casper the Friendly Ghost. So that's number four, y'all. In top three. This is just a collection, too. This is nothing special. But this is a very special collection because it was... It's for my wife. And that's what makes it special. You know, the Vermeer collection. Haunting water pictures, you know, and paintings, whatever. But this one is nice, okay? This one is same thing. We've got the eyeballs. Some eyeballs. We've got a smiley face here. This dude here with the third eye. Big old face. Got some noses. A lot of teeth. This one, see, this is a hand. It's supposed to be a hand that's holding all these eyes. And then we got like a goatee. Hey, man. I'm a goatee, man. And then we got the. Uh, Hey man, I got a goatee. I got a goatee. I play the bass. Remember that part? And then we got a smiley face. <laughs> yeah, Adam Sandler is freaking funny. I will try not to cuss. All right, and then we got all kinds of stuff going on up here. See, this, this almost looks like to me like a deer, okay? But it's not. It's not. It's some kind of water monster. Remember, all these are from the water. So it's coming out of the water. It's like, hey man, I got some eyeballs I'm gonna eat. I don't know, who knows, man. I'm not a fan of my art, but sometimes I like them. This is interesting. Leftover junkie in the background. This was number three, so we're getting the top two now. For this little collection of mine, Vermeer. After, and then this one is Botticelli Vermeer of the Vermeer collection, number two. Not bad, I wouldn't have to say. Again, this is some kind of water monster. Right away, we got some smileys. And then we get into some really big detail here. You know what I mean? Got more teeth. And everything is very elementary, because, you know, like I said, I'm not an artist, so I can't draw, like, Botticelli or Vermeer, but I can do this, and this is awesome. Once you get into this, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And then, like, here we got all the teeth, so here's open mouth, and then the eyes, of course the eyes, and then this thing is just a small one of this. Just imagine this guy used to look like this guy. Oh, so nice and cute at one time. Grew into a big ass monster, you know? It's his own fault. Shouldn't be so huge. That's number two, y'all. With leftover junkie in the background. About to sing something. Up. This is a crazy song right here. This one's called, um. Two dragons falling. And Shannon comes at night and Sean Gardy P singing around. Shannon comes at night singing actually. This is number one, y'all. Monet Vermeer. Claude, Mon Claude Monet and Johannes Vermeer. Both watery figures here. And we got some duck looking thing right here at the beginning. And then we got this dude. See, all of them, they all come out really weird looking, you know. This is at the beginning. I'm talking about 8 billion years ago, you know, after the whatever, the volcanoes and the plasma discharge and all that stuff. And then this thing is some kind of water that can, water monster can fly. And then this one too, kind of like a levitation. That's what I was thinking. I was like, this dude's not flying. He's got no wings, but... You know, maybe that's a flapper wing. Who knows? I don't. But nonetheless, this guy can levitate. Kind of reminds me of that um, story a long time ago about um, Machu Picchu. Or not Machu Picchu, but... Um, geez, one of those where they 
levitate their blocks and they build a city in the middle of the water in the Philippines somewhere. Microasia, Micronesia, sorry, Micronesia, somewhere out there. That's the one. So give you guys a close up before that's it. Again, there's that flying dude with the third eye on his head and then his wings, shake a tail feather and regular wings. And then here, this thing, so you can see like, look at this, like right here. That's like the start of a dog. You know what I mean? Like these creatures were part crab, maybe a deer and then shark and a dog, you know? And then just kind of going into a duck and going into whatever this is and finally getting its wings. Because I, you know, humans are the only evolutionary species that never learned to fly or grown wings. We're like 20 million billion years behind. Everybody else is doing it except for us. We got to build stuff. There's something wrong with our genome, y'all. All right, I got to get out of here. Have fun.